One of the one of the worst aspects of it actually is the is the war on science. Now, science, it always seems to me, is almost the perfect personification of what you've just been talking about. Because what scientists do is they try and establish facts, and when facts change through the scientific work, scientists change their opinions. And yet, when you see that happening, for example, in a pandemic with a novel uh, new coronavirus uh, like COVID nineteen. When you had a scientist like Anthony Fauci, for example, very eminent in his field, when you have someone like that who becomes public enemy number one to large swathes of America and indeed around the world, because he is changing his mind based on new information, it seems to me that that is putting science itself under attack. Yeah, so so part of the problem here is people don't fully know or understand what science is or how and why it works. And you also have a gap between people who are professional scientists and how they communicate what they do to those who are not. Let me just say what Fauci should have done, easy, very easy to be, you know, Monday morning quarterback or, or whatever the phrases are that yeah. refer to the hindsight of wisdom. Uh, what he should have done, which says, here is our advice, based on the research that has accumulated thus far. Right. And as that research continues to come in, we may make adjustments to the advice we're giving you now. Stay tuned. That's how that should have been presented at the beginning. 